Hello and welcome to Hold the Eye Images video. I'm your co-host Bill Henderson. And I'm John Onvik. We're here to talk about all things photography. Uh, today we're going to give you some highlights of upcoming shows and to show you some equipment that we work regularly with here at Hold the Eye Images studio where this is being filmed. To start off with, uh, you read a lot these days about everyone should carry a camera all the time. And both John and I are firm believers in that. In fact, we both carry cam cameras all the time. But John's camera is a brand new one. John, show him the new camera. So this is my carry round camera. Uh, I bought this specifically to always have it with me so that I could take a shot whenever anything comes up, anything special comes up. You never know when you're out walking That's around. right. So this is a brand new Nikon Coolpix P7000 camera. It's a point and shoot camera, but it also shoots in RAW, and that's really important to me because I shoot everything in RAW. Uh, a couple of really neat features about it, it has a fast lens at the, and a fast wide angle lens, so at the, the widest angle it's an f2.8. Um, we have a lot of access, easy access to manual controls like exposure compensation and your shooting modes. And for anybody who is familiar with Nikon as a Nikon shooter, you'll feel right at home with the user interface here. It produces really great looking photos and it's amazing what this little camera can do even in low light conditions. But the big question is what kind of images does it capture? Just how good can a point and shoot, shoot be? It's as good as the photographer behind it I always say. Well that's pretty <laughs> mediocre in your case. Anyway, All right, let's, well, bring that, let's bring I out have the big a, print. I have a little snapshot here that I'll share with you. Um, this was taken with this image, uh, with this camera. Okay. Let's try not to, to face it. Um, and I'm behind. Can we lower this a little? Bit? Okay. So this is. Well, we talked about this. This is a. <laughs> this is a 40-inch wide print, printed on the 44-inch Epson Stylus Pro 9900 that we have here in the studio. This amazing printer, 10 color inks. 10 color inks. 10 color HDR yeah. inks. And you can see by the side, this is a crop uh, piece of that image. So this is a 10 megapixel camera. Uh, the 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 P7000, and I cropped, out, cropped it out for a, a square aspect ratio, and you can see it's just incredibly stunning photograph. No, no pixelization, no noise, very sharp detail. Uh, this is a vintage 59 Cadillac that often parks out right in front of our oh, studio here, up. and in fact, this is, the, uh, this is our, our uh, window here into the studio, our natural daylight uh, source here in the studio. Uh, great, great camera and uh, awesome results. It's an amazing photograph from a point and shoot. So the next thing we're going to talk about after we ditch the giant print are custom photo vests. This one comes from a company in Texas called the Vested Interest. And I had this vest built for me as a wildlife photographer. They say everything's bigger in Texas. Like That's this. right. This is big. This is big. So on the back of the vest, and I'm not going to go through this vest in a whole lot of detail. I will in a later program. But on the back of the vest is a pouch for a large lens. Now one of the interesting things, if you've ever carried a large lens, it's not only cumbersome, it can hurt your body. What, what, are, you, what are you packing there? Uh, 200 to 400 millimeter okay. Nikon lens. So I put in the, between my back and the lens here a 100 millimeter bladder. And that's very cool. And you can do very cool things like that with this vest in this company which is vested interest and we're going to go through this vest in some detail in the future to show you all of the great aspects that it has including the padded bags the so places you, you can custom configure this anyway Con that's right and you measure it for yourself so that it fits right at your waist but that's another program coming up here great <clears throat> we're also going to talk about ellen chrome ranger this is one of the basic elements of our studio the Allen Chrome Ranger is a fabulous set of uh, lights, and this is the Allen Chrome Ranger Quadra. And the Quadra is small, and these things almost fit in your pocket. If you've seen the Joe McNally videos, you see uh, where he's shooting a model in the water. They're holding them up uh, on a monopod. This is the light that they're using. They're having the small battery packs, which we'll show you in a second. Here's the battery. It comes with two batteries, two heads. Uh, you can get it in a couple of configurations, and it's very versatile. You can take it on site, on location, and also use it in the studio. And use it with any kind of light modifier, too. So that's right. Boxes and umbrellas and that. That's right. It comes with, uh, you can get these modifiers to the head so that, it, so that virtually everything fits on it. So this is what the Ranger looks like, right? This is, so this the, is, the, this is the Quadra uh, 
backpack or a back battery backpack. So this battery, this is the bottom part is the battery and the top part is the generator. And it just it has, holds two lights. And now this is a brand new accessory. This doesn't come with a kit, but it's a fabulous accessory. Don't look through the this is the ring light. And the camera fits on the back here. If you've not used a ring light, you've missed out on some great opportunity shooting. And this is so portable. And you can just imagine what you can do with this. And we'll talk about this, show you some images, shoot some images in a later video. So that's the Ellen Chrome Ranger Quattro. And uh, also, we have we're bag guys. Bags. We love bags. So this is happens to be a think tank bag. Uh, this is Slingback 30. Uh, it fits over your shoulder, holds a lot of gear. We won't go into all the gear it holds at this point. We're going to pack one of these for you and show you how we use it. These Think Tank makes some great stuff. As you'll notice in our studio, we use a lot of Think Tank. And the next Think Tank bag we're going to... This is the logistic ma manager. This is the backbone of any studio. This enables you to haul all kinds of stuff. That's zipping it up, John. There you go. This one goes across right here. There we go. It's so big, I can't. I know. All right. So this. So this. I mean, there you go. You pack you just a lot. That's right. And when you get this bag, it comes completely stuffed with separators, so that you can configure this to carry whatever you need, whether it's small items or large items. And this is not a backpack. Say, right? No, this is a rolling bag. So it's the wheels. That's right. And it yeah. also has a locking system. We'll go through this bag in detail. And like the slingback, we'll actually pack one of these for you. All right. So one of the other things that we want to uh, spend a lot of time on here in the studio is video, specifically video from, from DSLRs. This particular uh, YouTube video is being shot with a Nikon D7000, so the, the D7000 is the digital SLR um, shooting HD video. And for this, we're also using this uh, video uh, microphone uh, specifically for uh, capturing the audio on, on this, on this uh, movie. So we'll be uh, reviewing all kinds of different gear and accessories for doing video. Uh, with your DSLRs as well. And this is just one of those pieces. Great piece of equipment. Easy to use. Looks great. Too. So what's this? That's an eyepiece. Oh. So this is a, a loop. We just had this around. Um, and I think in the olden days uh, I've heard you'd use this to look at contact sheets. Right? Well, Whatever that something with light foam boxes. or light boxes. Back in the day of the film. You know, right. Back in Still very useful. You can use them to uh, to, to uh, check out the back of your LCD when you're doing video. Uh, you can also uh, burn ants out on the sidewalk in the sunshine. We don't burn ants. We're a green company, as you can see. <laughs> we don't we don't burn anything, as a matter of fact. Except just the, saying. Except a little. Uh, John burned a some, little something. Some have, have inhaled been a little to, bit. Uh, to, to be, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it. <laughs> We're done. Thanks for watching. I'm Bill Henderson, and I'm John Omvik. Stay Thanks. tuned.